you know, when you're doing this right, uh, you're you're learning your whole life, and if you're lucky, you have many guides in 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 that learning process. And I've been I've been that lucky. Uh, I've had many people who've inspired me and taught me and guided me. Uh, Judy Cook, Karen Sutton, Rick Heimberg, Liz Romer, George Bonanno. There have been many people who have helped me grow uh, as, a, as, a, as a researcher and as a clinician. Uh, I want to talk particularly about uh, Judy Cook and Rick Heimberg, uh, who both had interesting ways of influencing the work I do now. Um, I'm especially grateful for Judy Cook, who was uh, a high school teacher who started an alternative program in my high school. At the time of when I met Judy, I, I wasn't very interested in, in learning. I wasn't very interested in, on, in, in growing. I, I didn't really know what my purpose was in school, and I wasn't doing very well in it. Uh, and I didn't really consider uh, joining the, an alternative program because I didn't really, wasn't really considering much at the time. Uh, and Judy saw something in me and encouraged me to join this alternative program in my high school, and which was in our junior and senior year of high school. And what was very special about, uh, about Judy's teachings and, and what she encouraged in that alternative program was and that what inspired my work now is finding what impassions me and go, taking my own my own sense of passion as a, as a first step for learning for education uh, for getting intellectually engaged and Judy was a master at, at at finding that that place in people and using that as a starting point I was impassioned by by uh, Cambodian human rights and psychology and we had we used that as a starting point and uh, Judy helped me see how to, how, how to get excited about things and not w worry so much about uh, uh, academic performance or I, I think I was frozen with uh, not thinking that I could do well in school uh, and she found in me those, those places of, of passion and those places of, 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 of curiosity and from that place, I, I really grew. In a couple of years, I went from someone who was had no real interest, interests and interest in, in education to someone who was very interested and, and was interested in becoming uh, uh, an educator myself. Uh, and I, I, I think she was an inspiration uh, as, uh, as an educator. She unfortunately uh, passed away of cancer only a few years after I graduated college, and she never got a chance to see this kind of transformation in me, uh, and I owe her so much. Uh, I also want to mention Rick Heimberg, who was my graduate school mentor at Temple University. And uh, Rick helped me also in growing the way that I think in a very different way. Uh, by the time I reached Rick, I was very impassioned <laughs> and I had really had a sense of what, I, what excited me. But Rick taught me how to, uh, to, to pause and, and be careful and think about what I want to say and write. Uh, Rick did that, both, both Judy and Rick did this with kindness and, uh, and inspiration, uh, but Rick uh, was, uh, w was meticulous in, uh, in, in pushing me to, uh, to improve in things like writing. Uh, I would get uh, papers back from Rick with 100 comments on them, uh, and he, in, in a kind way, forced me to be uh, a, a, a better professional, a better writer, a better scientist. Um, but also believing in me, but showing me how, how taking a pause um, and thinking about what I want to say and do uh, can improve what I want to say. So in both Judy and Rick, uh, I really found, the, my, in many ways, my interest in, in emotion and, and emotion regulation, which is what my area of study really is about.